sunshine. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I was able to get 66% off my Cricut branded items. Okay, so I shopped at three major retailers using eBay, Michaels, and Amazon. And so all my Cricut machines and supplies came from one of these three places. And I'll show you how I was able to save in total $668.78. So I'm going to go ahead and start with eBay here. Okay, so my very first purchase from eBay was the Cricut Maker 3, which retails for $429. I best offered the seller and we agreed on $281.25. Um, that's including shipping. And so, yeah. And this is what I got, the whole machine packaged in a box, completely brand new. Um, just as a side note, everything I purchased was in box and brand new. And here is um, my purchase receipt to, just to show you that I bought it for $275 and shipping was $6.25, making it $281.25 for my machine. Okay, second big machine item I got was the Easy Press 2. I also did a best offer. It retails for $149 and I was able to get it for $73. And this is it. Also brand new, like I said, everything I purchased was brand new. Okay, so I'm going to go into the tools with you. So I purchased the True Control Weeding Kit. This weeding kit retails for $27.49. I did a buy it now, meaning that that's the price that the seller is offering to sell at. So there's no bargaining involved. And um, I purchased it for $8.95. Second item is the Deep Point Blade and Housing. So for this one, it retails for $37.99. I did a best offer and I got it for $13.99. And then we have the knife blade and housing. So that's gonna be this guy here. Um, it retails for $49.99. I did a best offer and I got it for $11. Again, the prices are all including shipping. Um, next, I got the engraving tip and housing. This retails for $48.99. Um, I did it as an auction and purchased it for $13.81. And for the debossing tip, I purchased just the tip. I had figured I didn't need any more housing because I had a couple on hand already. Um, this was a buy it now price of $8 and it retails for $27.99. And my last purchase from eBay is that scoring wheel combo pack, which retails for $76.99. Um, it's a two pack, so it comes with two attachments. So I did a best offer and I did get it for $17.74. Let's be this one right here. It's a combo pack, so it includes just the single scoring and the double scoring. But as you can see, um, these are what I paid for those eBay items I showed you earlier. I forgot, I also purchased a Cricut Bright Light Pad, and I got that for $27.34. Um, I think it retails for about $50. Okay, and so this is the Cricut Bright Pad. It just arrived in the mail. And like I said before, I purchased this from eBay for $27.34 using Best Offer. Then it's all brand new and sealed. And let me show you what's inside it. And so this is what it looks like out of the box. If you're not familiar with what a bright pad is, it's a light pad that lights up to help weeding vinyls easier. This is the first generation Cricut Cut Bright Pad. So that does mean that it is corded with a USB. It does need a power source. The newer version that they came out with is the portable one, which is cordless. But I, since I got such a great deal, I just went ahead with the first generation. Overall, eBay is a wonderful platform. 
Think of it as a treasure hunt where you can hunt for great deals. Sometimes sellers want to just get the items out of their hands and so they're willing to sell it to you at a good discount. So I always check eBay first before I go to major retailers to purchase. Your best bet is best offers or auctions will usually get you the cheapest price. But you just have to look around. Sometimes buy it now does offer a good price. But don't be afraid to do a best offer. You can bargain with a seller and see whether they're willing to negotiate for a better price. I, I think I got very good prices here. And as a side note, if you want extra discount, you can get 2 to 3% off of eBay gift cards from raise.com or cardcash.com. I'll leave the link below um, so you can check it out if you haven't heard of these sites. Also, Rakuten. Rakuten offers a minimum of like 1% cash back when you shop at eBay. So these little rebates do add up and help your overall savings. All right, so I'm gonna go next, I'm gonna go over how to save at Michael's. When you get items, you cannot use any additional coupons at Michael's. Okay, so it's a little bit more complicated here about go ahead and explain the prices. And I'll do an example. So for example, I purchased this tool organizer from Michael's. Um, it retails for $32.99. Currently, Michael's is doing a 40% off Cricut sale. And that's the final price. So you cannot add any, use any additional coupons or anything. But a way to get this price even lower is to buy gift cards. So check out those websites that I told you earlier, but I purchased 23% off gift cards at cardcash.com. And on average, they always do offer anywhere between 20 to 25% gift cards. Um, I got 23% off gift card, so it brought my purchase down to $15.23. This week, Michaels is offering the rewards member an extra 10% back. So my total purchase price is thirteen dollars and twenty five cents. Um, coming from thirty two ninety nine, I thought this was the best price, and you really just have to shop around. I mean, I couldn't find a price that beat this on eBay. And see, when you combine gift cards along with a sale, it really does bring down your price, and it's totally worth it. If you're not familiar with what this is, it's just to help house your blades. So I have so many like all those pickup blades and accessories now. I just wanted something to organize it all. And so this will allow me to put it inside and store all my accessories. All right, so, oh, and quick note, you can also do Rakuten on this. When you order online, which is what I did, you get an additional 8% cash back. I also bought this healing mat which is $32.99 um, on sale for $19.79. After gift card and the rewards, I spent $13.25 for this healing mat. And this healing mat is basically a, called a, a cutting mat. And the one I bought is double-sided ruler so that I can use as a stencil to help guide me when I do my cuts and trims. They have other ones with really pretty patterns. I just prefer the usability of having this reference guide, but they have other mats that have like floral designs and such, which I honestly was very tempted to get as well. Next, I'm just gonna show you my trimmer. So I already owned a trimmer, but I specifically bought this Cricut trimmer because it's a 13 inch. General ones are usually 12 inch. And 12 inch is a little bit too small to cut like these mats. When you're cutting your vinyl for the mats, all well, these are 12 by 12. And I figured, you know, I needed this 13 by 13 inch one so I can make the trims for these Cricut vinyls. So I went ahead and invested in one of these. Um, the trimmer retails for $21.99. And I ended up paying $8.84 for it. And this will come in handy 
Next, I bought the applicator and remover set, and that's this guy right here. It's a combo pack, so it comes with both this applicator, which helps you roll on your vinyl or whatever material you're using onto the mat. And this is the remover. It's like a little um, tweezer of sorts to help you apply your material or remove your material, either or. And that retails for $24. I ended up purchasing it for $9.64. Again, I cost compared all my purchases on other sites. This price beats Amazon and eBay. Next, I bought the foil transfer kit. And that's gonna be this thing right here. So this foil transfer kit comes with three tips and some um, sample foil. So this advertises or retails for $40, $39.99. And my total purchase price was $16.07. Okay, and the last purchase from Michael's was this extra large scraper. For this extra large scraper, um, it retails for $10.99. And my after all the discounts, I got it for $4.42. Um, I do have a small scraper, but I read online through the reviews that this comes in very handy for when you do larger projects. All right, so it's home Michaels. Michaels coupon are a little bit more complicated or getting discounts because you do need to take into consideration gift cards and rewards back and all that stuff. But Michaels can have good pricing. Michaels tends to always sell for very high retail pricing, but when they do have sales, Combined with gift cards, you can get your price down very low where it's even cheaper than what you can find on eBay or Amazon. So honestly, just hold out. If you can, wait for the sales, wait for them to bring the sales in. Things like 40% off. I mean, just keep your eye out because you can get cheap items on Michaels. You just need to know how to shop. Oops, sorry, I totally forgot to write this down. I also bought this rose gold ruler. I didn't really need it, but I just thought it was super pretty. It might be convenient to have. But I believe it retails for $26, and I got it for $13. And then with a gift card, it probably comes out to be about $10. So, yeah, that's my last item. Okay, now I'm going to go straight and show you my Amazon purchases. So, for the Amazon, it's pretty straightforward. What prices you see on Amazon is what you get. So what it retails for for the standard mats is $21.99. Um, its current sale price is $9.34. This is the one that comes with two mats. They're the giant mats, the 12 by 24s. As you can see, I kind of labeled them with vinyl just to kind of remind me what materials could go on this mat. And I also bought the 12 by 12 standard mat. And this is also a two pack and this was $7.99. The 12 by 24 was probably a better deal because you could probably like chop it in half to save money. And I also bought the variety pack, which was the most expensive. The standard mats are much cheaper, but the variety mat comes with a light, standard, and strong grip. And this, is this guy right here. Retails for $40.99 and I purchased for $16.62. So it's a little bit more expensive because it comes out to be a little bit over $5 a mat when I was paying like $4.50 for the other ones. Okay, and then I got the True Control Knife Kit. And that's this right here. This one retails for $18.99 and I purchased it for $9.39. And I got that easy press mat 12 by 12 size. Um, it's to go with my easy press. This is the mat to go along with it. I bought the 12 by 12 size. And this one retailed for $24.99 and I got it for half price at $12.10. And 
And the last item is just the basic tool set. I already opened here. It comes with these items here. A little one, something for weeding, um, some scissors, a little tiny scraper. These retail for $31.99 and I ended up getting it for $9.89. Oh, and with Amazon, if you have an Amazon credit card, you get 5% off. So that's just something to take into consideration when you do make these purchases. So this is an overview on how much I paid in total for all my machines and tools. Go ahead and take a screenshot if you need to um, as a reference on how much you can get in terms of sales for your Cricut products. Good luck shopping and hope you find this video helpful in getting savings for your Cricut items. Thanks so much for watching and if you haven't yet, be sure to check out my Cricut Maker 3 unboxing and setup video.